Am I the asshole for telling my daughter-in-law she is never welcome at my home again? I, 44 female, have a 23-year-old biological son as well as three foster children two boys, 9 and 17, and one girl, 12. I have been a foster parent since my son was 4. I am a social worker as well. He has gone through life understanding the system and the horrors these kids face. The three that I have right now I am planning to adopt. I love them as my own. The last two Christmas I have not had my biological son, Tyler, home. He has spent them with his girlfriend and wife now of eight months family. I have always respected it. She is much less independent than Tyler and her family suffered the loss of a grandfather so they wanted her there for the holidays. This Christmas Tyler has been telling me that him and Sonia, my dill, will spend Christmas with our family. Well the day before yesterday Tyler told me he feels like he owes a debt to Sonia's family for the extravagant wedding gift they gave them and he felt pressured to spend another holiday with them. I didn't believe him. I know when my son is lying. After pressing for about 15 minutes he revealed to me that Sonia felt uncomfortable spending Christmas at our home because it did not feel genuine. She says that my foster children are not real family so it takes away from the spirit of the holiday. I would never let anyone be so disrespectful to Tyler so why would I let this fly with my other children? I told him fine but if she don't feel comfortable at Christmas then I don't ever feel comfortable with her around my kids, and she cannot step foot in this house again. I have always treated her with kindness and respect. I love her because she loves my son and he loves her, but I will not let anyone exclude my children. My husband believes I am going to cause a wedge between us and our son, but right now I am so so disappointed in him. This is not who I raised him to be maybe a wedge is needed for him to come to his senses. So Reddit am I the asshole? Too long did not read. My dill doesn't consider my family genuine because I have foster children so she and my son will be spending the third Christmas in a row with her family. I told my son she is no longer welcome at my home. Not the asshole. She could seriously hurt your kids. It's good that you're not allowing that. I agree that he might need this wedge. Good lord. Not the asshole. You aren't creating the wedge. She did that. Wow. Also, if she thinks taking in needy children is somehow, taking away, from the spirit of Christmas, she needs to go back to Sunday school. She obviously missed a few weeks. Just wow. Not the asshole. Your duty is to your children and only your children. Someone who holds any malice for them, intentional or not, does not get access to them. He should be offended, too, but that's his fight to have. Not the asshole but by banning her, have you given her what she wants? To never come to your house? Also, don't forget, this might just be your son's first wife. Keep the door open with him. Not the asshole your son and Dill seem to have missed the whole point of Christmas while you live it every day by being a foster mom. I was totally prepared to respond differently, but after reading it, you are not the asshole. How hurt your younger children would be if they were to hear her say such a thing in front of them. I wouldn't allow her in either. I was adopted. My mom eviscerated many people over the span of her life for even suggesting I was anything less than her child. I've never forgotten those moments. I felt unconditional love and safety in those times as she shot lasers from her eyes and flailed her mommy pointer finger wildly around at them. You're an incredible parent. Protect your kids. I hope your son figures his life out quickly before there's any damage. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. If your son had been adopted instead of biologically yours, would she still say it wasn't genuine? Am I the asshole for telling my daughter and grandkids to leave the night before Christmas Eve? My eldest daughter has had a very snotty attitude towards me ever since she had her first child, just over 10 years ago. She was convinced from the start she knows exactly what she's doing, and needs no help. I learned quickly to keep unsolicited commentary to myself. Except to me, it's a different story when they're under my roof. I don't think the rules should have to change to accommodate her and the grandkids. For example, this is the same house my kids grew up in. I've had the same rule since before they were all born, no shoes on the carpet. And yet, my daughter tells her children, right in front of me as I'm encouraging them to take their shoes off, to ignore me and go ahead inside. I put my arm out to stop one of the grandkids and said no, that's not how we're doing this. My daughter dramatically huffed and puffed but finally went along with it. Until the next day. We have a good amount of snow on the ground here so of course the kids went out to enjoy that. So imagine my shock when I hear the front door and find my eldest grandchild, 10 years old, on the couch with his snowy, muddy, dripping boots and muddy prints all across the carpet. I was significant other angry. 
Is he not old enough to know better? I told him to go back out right now and take them off and then he can help me clean the prints. He actually apologized and was agreeable, but then his mom came in while we were cleaning and got mad. Her child had no business scrubbing floors and, handling cleaning products, it was spot remover and he had gloves. I told her she had made it acceptable for him to disrespect my rules and this was the result. She mumbled something under her breath and left. The last straw came last night. We were all watching a movie together when the eight-year-old went to the bathroom and about 30 minutes later, I realized he hadn't returned. I went to check on him and found he had ruined half of our Christmas Eve dinner that I had prepared in advance. He says he'd accidentally dropped the stuffing, which he'd poorly cleaned up, half was on the floor and half was in the trash can, and then his snack consisted of most of the mac and cheese and yams. We just had dinner three hours ago. I was so upset I was almost in tears. I just sent him to the guest room he's staying in and told my daughter to look at what he did. What did she take away from it? That I sent him to his room. She, as always, reminded me that I'm not his parent and have no right to tell him what to do. I said someone needed to because he just single-handedly ruined our holiday dinner and it was ridiculous. She snapped and told me I'm an old hag trying to stay relevant. I refused to tolerate any more disrespect and told her to leave, so she and the kids packed up, 8 o'clock at night, and left. Now here we are, Christmas Eve morning, in an empty house. My husband is angry with me for causing them to leave and says it's just a few days, I should have let it go. Is he right? I do wish the kids were still here. Not the asshole such disrespect for basic house rules. I would never dream of putting my mother in the same situation as you were exposed to. Instead of bend to your rules, she preferred to leave, so it's on her and her awful attitude. Honestly, you deserve better. I suspect husband just doesn't understand the amount of strain that kind of behavior causes. Not the asshole should get a hotel and let your asshole husband handle all that shit by himself. He's getting off easy pretending he was willing to deal with the bullshit. You'll come back when the house is spotless again. From your first paragraph, op, I was ready to say you're an asshole. But this is not about you interfering with your daughter's parenting. The rules you are talking about are actually just basic common sense and respect for others. There has to be more to this story though. Your daughter is a huge asshole and sounds like she is damaging her kids. Only you might have some insight on why she is like this. Not the asshole in this specific instance. Consider visiting them in their home. I wonder if your daughter lets them sit on her couch with muddy wet boots? Not the asshole. Your daughter sounds aggressive AF. It sucks that you can't spend the time with your gran, but it sounds like your daughter isn't necessarily interested in fostering that relationship anyway. And it's also sucky that your husband just thinks you should suck up, being called horrible names for no reason. I'm very sorry. Not the asshole. I want your daughter out of your house too. Not the asshole. She is being so disrespectful you. You deserve better than this. Let your husband go spend Christmas with her and her crappy parenting, and you go check yourself into a spa. I hope your Christmas gets better yellow heart. Not the asshole sorry your daughter treats you like this. My family, two adults two kids, have nowhere to go for the holidays and it kills me when people who do have loving family ruin it like this. Heartbreak. Not the asshole. I've spent eight hours cooking a Christmas meal for three. You spent that much time prepping your meal for double that only for a grandchild to ruin it and then you take the blame? Nope, not how it works. It may be time to cut ties with that part of the family and I agree with the comment above. Get a hotel on your husband's dime and come back when the house is spotless. Am I the asshole for telling my kids there won't be a family Christmas after this year? Throwaway account. Some background info. I, 50F, have two adult kids Mike, 30, and Marie, 29 and both are married. The last five or so years we have had to have a split Christmas where one kid and spouse will come over one day and the other another day. This is just how it's worked out between their work schedules and their spouse family Christmas gatherings. Now on to the issue. I texted them both yesterday asking if they can still come over Christmas Eve. Mike said yes but Marie wasn't aware that I was planning a gathering then and said she couldn't come due to work and her husband's family gathering. We can't all do Christmas Day either because Mike and his wife are having her family over for a gathering. So I asked if Sunday would work and Marie said yes but Mike said no unless it was later in the evening since he has to work. I was over trying to beg for a bit of family time so I just texted both of them and said I'd leave their presence on their porches since there's no time for our family anyway and it seems to them that our family doesn't matter, 
only their spouses' families. They both tried calling and texting me but I ignored them. Later on my husband convinced me to do Sunday after 3. I told the kids this but said that since they don't care about our family anymore this will be the last family Christmas for good. I'm not dealing with my family being forgotten by my kids. Marie then told me stop being such an asshole and to stop acting like a martyr. I really don't think I'm in the wrong though. My kids are the ones not making time for the family. So, am I the asshole? You are the asshole. You're having a pity party when your adult children are doing what you've raised them to do have busy and functioning families of their own. Next year, make plans with them sooner, as opposed to demanding that your needs be prioritized. Info. Why did you wait until a few days before Christmas to try and make plans when you know your children have busy lives? You are the asshole this sounds like last minute planning, poor communication on your part. If you want to have both your children and their partners and kids over on a specific day, tell them about in advance it's not as if they said they don't want to come over they either have other plans or are working. You are the asshole. This is incredibly short notice for working adults with spouses and in-laws to coordinate. If you want both your children's families to visit at the same time you need to give them more than two four days notice. The holidays are busy and important for everyone, not just you. You are the asshole. You said you forgot to tell your daughter before the last minute text then have the audacity to bitch about you being forgotten? Grow up. You are the asshole. You need to plan Christmas well in advance. By now everything else is set and it's too late to trade work shifts etc. Clearly both Mike and Maria were willing to come, they were just unable to come at the same time. There's no point in taking that personally. Just book a family gathering in January if everything's full now. You are the asshole. You didn't plan early enough. You're angry and throwing a tantrum because they didn't cancel on people they made plans with perhaps weeks prior to today. Mike was coming on Christmas Eve and Marie was coming on Sunday so you can't claim they didn't want to spend time with you. Or that they forgot you. And as for not valuing family. Dot you do realize that their spouse is their family too right? And if they have kids those children are as equally related to their in-laws as you, right? Everything you said is manipulative and selfish and mean-spirited. Hardly appropriate behavior for Christmas. Info. How far ahead did you schedule this Xmas Eve gathering, and why didn't your daughter know about it? It's hard navigating the holiday with so many familial expectations this is how it is when you have adult children who are trying to make their own family traditions on top of trying to accommodate all the parents. Throwing a hissy fit is not the way to get what you want early, clear scheduling and realistic expectations are what you need. Am I the asshole for getting a guy fired for confronting me in the lobby where my dad works? This happened last Thursday by the way. My dad is one of the executives at a media tech company. Before COVID I, 16M, was always there after school. It's a pretty big building. Some of the offices there are closed because people are working from home so it's not so many people hanging in the lobby like before. My mom dropped me off there because my dad was in a meeting and we were gonna go eat lunch after. I'm there waiting in the lobby with my backpack and this guy from across keeps looking at me. He's there with some other people. The lobby is big so there's always others that are there on lunch break. Then he comes to me trying to be friendly at first then he asks if I work in the building. It's obvious I don't work there so don't know why he asked. Everyone as else is in suits with their security pass sticking out. I told him I'm waiting for someone. He says only employees are allowed in the lobby because of COVID. It's obviously bullshit. They haven't made any rules like that. But he wouldn't leave me alone. The security guy that was at the front even told him so when he tried to ask him to escort me out. He looked annoyed by then and telling me that lots of homeless people have come in lying about that too so to just leave already. Security at the desk told him I'm allowed to be there. It was back and forth for like almost 10 minutes. I'm already pissed. So told him to just fuck off already. When I told him who my dad was he laughed like he didn't believe me. My dad texted me then that he's outside so all I said was whatever. In the car my dad saw I was mad and after I told him what he happened he was asking me do I remember the guy's name, if he said which department he's from what he was wearing. I just told him what I remember. He ended up finding out who he was and called up his supervisor. They let the guy go. My dad says the guy should have known better than to lie or cause a scene like that in their building. He told me to drop it. I just didn't think they were gonna that extreme with it. My dad was really mad about it. I keep thinking about it now. If I shouldn't have said anything at all. He was being a dick yeah and I was mad. Does it make me an asshole that I helped get him fired though? 
I mean, the security guy even told him to stop. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. All that happened is that he experienced consequences to his actions. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. You didn't get him fired. He got himself fired. He was abrasive. Ignored the security guard's assurance that you were supposed to be there. Lied about company policy and essentially called you a liar by laughing when you finally dropped your dad's name. I am assuming you tried to avoid that because it totally feels like saying, don't you know who I am? It was not your call and it wasn't your fault. That he got canned instead of written up suggests that he may have already been on thin ice. Not the asshole you didn't get that guy fired, he got himself fired. That was likely the last straw for the company. The dude wasn't security. His job wasn't to secure the building. He chose to make a scene. Not the asshole. It's his own fault. If it wasn't you it would have been someone else. No, you're not an asshole. The guy acted like he owned the building. You're definitely not in the wrong. If he treated you that way, I couldn't imagine how he treated his co-workers. That was cool of your dad to handle that. I'm glad you opened up to him, you gotta let him know that stuff. Don't feel like you have to shut your voice down for other people's problems. You did the right thing. I hope that doesn't happen to you again. Not the asshole. The dude was harassing someone for no reason and faced consequences for his own actions. He had no business policing what was happening in the lobby, a security even told him all was fine and they are the ones whose job it is dude bullied you because you were a kid, and your dad rightfully decided the dude is a troublemaker not worth having. If the guy didn't do this to you he would have picked on someone else. Not the asshole security okayed it and it's their responsibility faux access control all he had to do was ask security about you, not confront you and security just tells him to chill. I am not sure if him getting fired is right or wrong but I ys not your fault. NTA literally all the guy had to do to not get fired was back off when security told him to. Then he didn't believe you when you told him who your dad was. He fd around and found out.